Uh, this video is going to be a short one for one of my subscribers that asked about our soils and what type of soils we have uh, around this area of southwest Georgia. And I'm just going to pan around this field. This is one of Scott Farms' fields. And if you look, now there's a sprayer way off in the distance, but I'll kind of zoom in this way. You can see spots of orange, especially as we get up and further away over towards that tree line over there. And then you can see spots that can get a little darker and spots in between that are kind of uh, more of a white color. This is a typical um, kind of a field for this area. And if you look where I'm at right now, I'm right on the edge of a, a uh, waterway. It's not a very big one, but it is a waterway growing up in some wild mustard. But this soil is very sandy. I mean, there's moisture down in it, and it's perfect for planting right now. But it, our soils just dry out very fast, just due to the the amount of sand. And there's very little organic matter in our soils. I mean, it just doesn't hold. I kind of cut that last video short. A uh, piece of equipment I've been waiting on filming has popped up over the ridge and I had to film what I came here to film. But I was talking about our soils. And you can see across here these orange spots. And most of these orange spots are have been eroded over the years. And most of this dirt probably 100 years ago looked more like this color with a little bit of a clay in on certain spots. But it was all forest land back in the 1800s. But when they moldboard plow this land, the bottom of the plow, however you want to refer to it as, they pull up some of these some of this clay. And this it looks like it's red orange clay, but it's still sandy clay. It's not straight clay. There's a few spots that have straight clay in it. But for the most part uh, our soils are sandy in texture no matter what. They might look orange, but they're not straight clay. And the clay strips sometimes yield extremely well, but when it gets drier weather, um, they don't seem to yield as well. Um, they're more droughty. Well, I hope that answers his question. If he's got any more... Uh, questions about our soil, just give me a shout, put it in the comments and I'll try to get back with it. And if anybody else has any th uh, anything regarding uh, our farming down here in southwest Georgia or in north Florida, um, just hit me up in the comments section and I'll try to reply the best I can. I don't know everything about farming down here, but I I've been around it my whole life, so I do know a pretty good bit. Well, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.